Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, that's a bigger fish. channel everybody hey we are back from the mountains we are back from trout fishing and elk hunting deep in the musty woods of Colorado and we're back in Texas at Guggen HQ it's very empty right now nobody's here but a bunch of people are coming they're on their way we're getting ready to do a whole nother Guggen week a lot has gone on since I have left and something that came in that we are going to explore switching gears is doing some bass fishing and this month's mystery tackle box is here. I never even got to fire a fire an arrow. Do you fire an arrow? I want to let an arrow loose. I didn't get to do it all week. It's okay. I still had a, a major successful hunt personally learning growth. But here's the deal. I thought it'd be fun to fling an arrow at the box and see, to do a little mystery challenge with the mystery tackle box and see which lure the arrow lands on. And that is going to be the lure I'm going to be challenged with. I gotta learn how to fish again, y'all. So this truly is going to be a challenge. And obviously today's video is sponsored by the company Mystery Tackle Box, long time partner of the channel, long time supporter of the Googans and myself. And if you guys want to get signed up with them, go show some support over there. And you don't even have to show support. Just get some great lures inside of a box delivered to your door, starting as low as $5 a month it's using the code MONDO. One of my favorite words on earth. Say it again, Mondo, and you can get signed up and start getting these things sent to you. And if you're already a subscriber to Mystery Tackle Box, thank you and good on you. You already know you get value packaged into the box multiple different kinds of lures selected for the time of season that's going to work best for the specific species you're going after and they bundle it all together and that's how you get such a great price so you're saving money you're getting greatness it's like fishmas in a box in fact carl says happiness in a box what's in here i don't know it's a mystery that's the whole point you don't really know so it is fun to try different things new lures that you may have never tried what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit this right up here, probably put it in a little bit better position than that. And then I'm going to shoot this with an arrow, whichever lure it lands on is gonna be what I'm gonna have to fish with today. But this is gonna determine a lot. By the way, look at this. Two Skeeter FX's over here. There's Lunkers TVs, here's mine. Little twins, little brothers over here. And then, wah-bam, there's another one sitting next to my truck. And I would dare to say this is Hector Rodriguez's boat. What a beautiful specimen it is. What an amazing place to hang out. Kind of weird being in the woods all week and really not having much and going back to like basic survival skills. And then now I'm like just loaded with the, the best top of the line fishing equipment, lures, everything <sighs> so spoiled in the fishing game let's go fling an arrow to find out our fishing fate and i hope it's not some like little drop shot or something like that i hope it's something just with some shoulders on it bow up on a bass <sighs> chick-fil-a arnold palmer for good luck i think so Tasty. What a beautiful segue to transition back into bass fishing, doing an arrow that I never got to shoot as part of the video. Just a beautiful segue. I mean, really, just a, it deserves a thumbs up. 30 yards, what do you think? Got a little happy with the trigger there. Premature release.
Well, I smoked the deer. I hit a little high on the box, but we'll see what I got in here. Oh, yeah. Ah, nice double long shot there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's just take things out as I see them. Cowboy riding a crankbait, that's pretty cool. Looks like we got some Mustad Ultra Lock 5 aught size hooks for big creature baits or worms or something like that. Nice quality Mustad hooks. We got some little swim baits here. These are big bites. I believe that is a cane thumper, if my fishing industry memory serves me correctly. Yappa Frog by Lunker Hunt. It's kind of like a, uh, a wobbling sort of front, the old school um, Abergast. Who I can't remember the name, Dagum. Help me out in the comments. Um, but it basically it wobbles on top. Ooh, a 3 8 ounce black and blue jig. Why didn't I hit that one? Dagum, that's one of my favorite lures of all time. Craw Z by Z Man. And we, oh my gosh, we also have a really nice crankbait. The MTB exclusive, y'all. So this is a top, like, so, top surface wake bait, balsa, very nice. And the last thing in here that I have stabbed a hole in uh, is some works. Uh, this is our selection for the day. This is the Biospawn Exo Ribbon. Uh, so it's a ribbon tail worm, seven inch. I can work with this, baby. Jigs and worms, some of my favorite lures to fish year round. And this is a nice uh, compact size. We're gonna probably put a 3 16 or a quarter ounce tungsten weight on there with a little four aught offset worm hook. And we're just going We can fish this a variety of different places. So I feel pretty good about this choice, y'all. Lady Luck, you didn't give me an L, but you got me a good lure to fish with today. Fresh off the hunting game. Hard to not do a little recon, just shoreline recon, before I head out into the, the main part of the lake here. I'm seeing a lot of different species and bait species up in the shallows. And bluegill just loving some shade, loving little pieces of brush and things around the bank. Small bass, kind of in there, intermixed. Uh, I've seen gizzard shad and things like that. So that tells me that these bass are not afraid to be shallow right now if they have some cover if they have some shade definitely possible i don't i don't think i should try to go find some offshore things i don't know that's just off the bat that is one thing i could look for to catch fish now midday you know it's 2 14 probably the worst time of day to be fishing right now but i will as the day goes on i will get me a bass or two on this daggone bio spawn worm oh let's remember how to put the trolling motor in Wabam. A little weird being on my boat deck right now. After fishing on the shoreline up in the mountains. Still remember how to do a worm right though. Got that thing Texas rigged. That is on a 5 16 ounce weight. I also have it rigged on a shaky head componentry. I'm going to start off just kind of close to where I launched deep water close by like 60 feet. With, uh, with some docks that have some shade on them with deep water. That's a, that's a logical thing to go to here. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Look at, look at the shad being absolutely annihilated over here. Oh, hang on a second. What is that all about? Oh man, they're rushing them like right on the bank. This is not a, this is not a worm technique. Oh, there's gotta be some fish on this bank though. Busting bait. Boy, that is deep. That is really deep there. Fish this worm down the edge of this thing. If uh, if there's anything that is attacking bait on that shoreline, there's got to be some bass that are kind of taking advantage of this 
frenzy that's going on. This might be better suited for the shaky head too. That little wake bait that's in the box too. That'd be good. But I have, destiny has given me the worm. The worms, it's good for right now. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, got him. I got him on. First fish on. May not even be a bass. No, it's a, sp it's a spotted bass maybe. Got you, you are a spotted bass. Man, what a pretty fish. Well, you can tell the spotted bass, they're rapid grabbers. First fish? <sighs> Missed him, my baby. Little guy there. Goal accomplished already, not the size, but got her done. Took me a second on that hook set. I was like, yeah, there's a bite. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he dropped it. I was not quick on the draw with that guy. Gotta get my bass touch back. Meanwhile, my calves are on fire already. It's like 95. Basically what this is right here is just a ledge. And that, that's good for midday, tough conditions. Just have to get one that's a little aggressive to come after the worm. I think probably the key area is going to be these docks, but I just want to give this little bank a run. It's got good cover on it. I'm fishing this setup on braid. This is 20 pound uh, Guggen Squad 8 strand. I've got a fluorocarbon leader on here, 12 pound. There's one. Oh, I think we get a largey. Oh, this water clarity looks good right now. I got him a little deeper. Ah. Yeah. Just your good old fashioned fat large mouth. Yes, sir. Nice, healthy, beautiful fish hooked right in the top of the lip where you would expect it. And he got that little bow spawn ribbit tail worm in his mouth. Wanted it. Ba boom. Nice fish. Okay, friend, back into the deeps, literally. You were down there. Good fight, sir. This fish was not on a dock, it was just in the deep water. So it had some shade. Cooler water always has more oxygen, so that's just a basic need that they need right now. I like it on the shaky head rig. Pretty nasty. So I'm gonna rig another one up and keep her going. I'm seeing some fish surface like random in deep water coming all the way up top, which tells me the water system's a little funky. I'm marking fish deep, but they're, they're feeding up high. Like that just tells me that they could be in a lot of places, which goes along with what I said at the beginning of the video. It's just a tough month to fish and break down. You gotta just be open-minded. So I'm gonna focus on some docks now, try to get some quality largemouth and not break off. Right there on the back corner. Hello. Water level down, deep dock. Oh my gosh, it is littered with shad. I can see them. Shad are, there's millions of them. Oh gosh, I think I just had a fish. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's like millions of shad down there. Oh gosh, got him. He came up out of that school and there was another one with it. What? Came up out of that school of shad. Are you joking me? He swam up and ate that worm while it was swimming. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. So they definitely were under this dock, but they might've been suspended while I was swimming up. Chased it, bit it. I gave him a second to eat it. It was a little one, there was a bigger one behind it. Dang, man, that was cool. It's one thing about a ribbon tail, sometimes they'll, they'll hit it while it's just swimming. It's kind of nice when I only have one lure to fish. Just focus on it. Oh, got another little spotted bass with a teammate with him. I think that is what is down there. Oh gosh, there's three more with him. Just for fun, I'm gonna just toss this little, 
little blade bait in here. They were trying to get that worm out of his mouth. Well, it came out. There was, I thought one, and then there was two more. The spotted bass, they tend to run in teams. That one did not come off the dock. So the two, the two bites that have been smaller spotted bass, they've been just kind of open rock areas. And then the large mouth have been uh, a little bit deep. Oh gosh, there's a bite. I mean, hammered it when it hit the bottom. Ah, now I'm stuck. Dang. As soon as they hit the bottom, I got a nice boom. I had one chase it. Oh, come here. You still got that guy with you? Oh man, there was like a three pounder with this guy. I think he's a largey. Oh, I think I still, I think I see something down there. I did not think that I was going to be double dangling like this, but we are in the situation where it's just happening. Y'all, that's a largey there. Ooh, not a bad one. Lost my worm. There was a tree down there and I was working through it and I got multiple bites. When I got up to the top, I kind of jigged it and then that guy ate it and there was a nice one following it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and fire out with the Texas rig style into this tree. Try to fish the end of it. Just work my way through it. This little worm is getting it done, y'all. It's just so many ways you can fish it. I'm fishing it Texas rig and shaky head slow, but um, kind of making bottom contact. You could fish it weightless, little swim hook. Oh, there's a bite. Golly, I cannot believe I missed him. Oh, I just saw one come up. My bare eyes. Cruising around here. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, that's a bigger fish. Yep. Oh God, that's a giant. Oh my God, it is a giant. Oh my God, that is an absolute Brutus. Look at that, oh my God, no, no. Holy cow. Oh my God, what a beast. Oh God, that was, mm. Tanker wagon, tanker wagon. God, I knew as soon as I stuck the hook at him, he was a giant. God dang, I knew there was a good fish on that tree. I saw that three pounder follow up that, that two pounder and I was like, oh man, I better throw back in there. And I was working it through those limbs. I finally hit the right limb and it just boom, poof, and it started swimming directly at me and I was trying to catch up the whole time. That was a big fish. That was like a six pound fish. <sighs> There's a gizzard chad being chased. Oh my God, look, just being destroyed. And so here's the dilemma with YouTube. I wanted to get that slow motion jump. I know my GoPro was pointing right at, and I was like, oh, that'd be cool if there's a big jump right here. And it was a mega jump, bigger than what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting a waller. That sick pounder just came straight out. Just blah, 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 blah. That's why you gotta smash the like button. You gotta respect the largemouth bass summer a little lethargic and then just poof, goes all out with the fight you know i would have loved to have that fish but just seeing that definitely worth the fishing trip today hey i still got it i still got it i can still come out here and get big bites and seven inch worms especially may not always get the big bites like a 10 inch worm but they they will consistently get bites and i like them during tough times a much smaller bat. Oh, I think it just spit up a crawdad or something. Oh, a little spotted bass. Man, you were bait for that last fish I hooked. 
literally he would have just chomped you in one bite. It's my next cast, y'all. A lot of activity around here, especially on the shady sides. Just came around to the sunny side. I may, may have to come back and fish that little magical. Those fish are, are, are deeper, you know? They're in that 12 to 16 zone. There's one underneath the dock. Spotted bass. What's going on with you? Where's that fight at? It's supposed to be a spite, a, a fighting spotted bass. Oh man, I wish we had big spotted bass in Texas. That's about the average one. Finally woke up there. Folks, I had to do it. I had to do it. I just came across a little pile of what I like to call the deliciousness, deliciousnessness of the lake. So delicious it needs extra words. I'm just gonna throw that in there for a second, see if I can catch a little mess. Dos. Okay, broke a couple lures off deep. Those suckers were like 35 foot down. But I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go after one of the most delectable golden crispies there is, the crappie. Just a great afternoon. Got a couple of fish in the well for a little lunch tomorrow. Had the opportunity to put my hands on a behemoth. Didn't quite land it, but still got to see the jump and the awesomeness. And I'm probably gonna get a couple more bites before I head in. Oh, got it. Got him on the clutch, on the stop. Oh, I just had to do it. Had to fire out a lipless, because I keep doing this deal. Come here, buddy. These are largemouth that are schooling. He's probably gonna jump off. Maybe not. Got them triple grips on you. Largemouth. Schooling. Okay, let that fish go. So this bait will become a essential part of the tackle box as we head into fall. But we're starting to see the signs right now. Giant ball of shad right here, just getting worked on by these fish. They're sitting below it. I'm sure the crappie are housing these things as well can actually see the school of bass right there. They're off to my right. Here's the huge ball of shad. There is the school of bass. It's quite a few of them. Little good luck dangle. I started today's video saying I'm gonna I'm gonna fish like mid depth to shallow because that looks like and then I end up fishing so deep. The conditions are changing and the fish are changing. They're like taking a pause. I figured they'd be schooling like crazy right now. Maybe if they would fish. Oh gosh, is that a fish? What is happening right here? What I don't know. Wow, I thought I had Bertha McGee there. I got it off, would you believe it? Okay, this is my last cast of the day. Ooh. Really didn't go where I wanted it to, about 10 feet right, but it'll do. <sighs> Let's take this hat off, it served me well. It's such a scorcher day coming from just delicious, beautiful, mild weather to very hot. Am I getting a bite right now? Yes, I got a fish. Last cast, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, you got to love it. You got to love it, man. Y'all, I am not kidding you. That 
is what I'm gonna end on. The last cast gave it a lucky dangle. Oh, mm, you know, I gotta sniff ya. <sighs> You're not a big one, but we're gonna let you go. If you like this format, let me know. I kind of enjoyed that challenge. Just picking something randomly and then focusing on it. Uh, it really like makes you stay in tune. You know, I love fishing worms, but if it would have been like a crankbait, something I'm less good at fishing, it probably would have helped me a lot, you know, to really uh, just focus on that bait for, you know, half a day or whatever. I don't know. I've been out here for like three and a half hours. Whew. Pretty good dangle. And let's not forget about that hog that came up and just thrashed around. Just good times, man. I, Y'all, I love fishing. I love every category of fishing. I just do. I just do. I know a lot of you do too. I appreciate you being here. Hey, if you want to show some support for this channel, will you do a couple of things for me? Please, first of all, just hit the like button. That helps. Uh, comment if you feel like it. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch the upcoming videos. Watch all the videos. We get some watch time happening. Makes the Google robots go crazy. And lastly, and probably most importantly, do not forget, go down in the description, click the link I beautifully have placed there. It's very juicy right at the top. Super easy. Click it. It has the Mondo code apply. That's for a mystery tackle box. Even if you don't get signed up for a box, just go over there and shop around. That lets them know you came from my channel and they like to see themselves some LFG fishing freaks over there. They're a big fan of fishing freaks. So I know a lot of you have already gone over there, got signed up, and I love you, I appreciate you. And it is fall, everybody, officially. So this transition time, a lot of good fishing to be had, a lot of good hunting as well. So stay tuned for that. A lot of big announcements, things to catch you up on in Guggen land as well. So stay tuned so you don't miss a single dangle. And I'll see you right back here on the next one.